Today, we're going to work on separating some bonded fiberglass panels. This is one of those tasks that uh, I think a lot of people end up having to attempt at some point during the Corvette restoration, but there's not a whole lot of guidance out there, so I thought a little tutorial would be helpful in, in understanding how best to do that. Um, ultimately, my goal here with this project is to remove the entire rear deck. Um, but for illustrative purposes, I'm going to work on showing you folks how you would separate this portion of the rear deck here from the surrounding fiberglass panel around the uh, rear windshield frame. The easiest way to do this is really uh, through heat. Uh, we don't want to damage the fiberglass panels. This bonding compound is, is like a very tenacious bond though, and, and uh, it is very rugged stuff. And if we try to separate these two panels um, with, the, with the bonding compound at room temperature, what we're going to find is there's going to be a lot of splitting. Um, the the uh, panels will separate, they'll become disbonded, um, and we'll end up doing a lot of damage to the panel itself. And really our goal here is to separate the pieces without damaging them and causing ourselves more work. Ultimately, I'm going to be replacing this uh, rear deck here, so I don't care so much about damage to the rear deck, but really I want to make sure that the remaining fiberglass, the part that I'm going to keep, remains, uh, remains intact and that I don't create more work for myself during this process. So um, what we're going to start with is, is uh, some heat here, but, but really what we need to find out first is, before we start heating this, we need to understand where that bonding joint is, where, where we need to start trying to separate the two panels. Um, and to do that, so we're going to use a bit of sanding paper here to sand away at, at this surface here to reveal where the bonding compound is, uh, where that joint is. So I'm just going to start sanding here, just with some 100 grit sandpaper, and I'm just going to sand up and around um, to reveal where the joint is located. Okay, so after sanding now, we can see that here is one section of the fiberglass here, shown by the darker area, and then also the darker edge here, which is the panel, basically a portion of the rear deck, and then the lighter compound here in the middle is the bonding compound, and this is really where we want to focus on starting to split these two pieces apart once we've applied the heat. Okay, now that we've identified where our bonded joint is, the next step is to start applying heat, and in order to do that, I'm using basically an off-the-shelf heat gun. And for those of you who don't know what a heat gun is, basically it's a high-powered hair dryer that's capable of achieving much higher temperatures than a regular hair dryer would. Um, some of these are hot enough that they can actually solder pipes. Um, although we don't want to get those kind of temperatures here, we do need to get a fairly hot surface, more than what a typical hair dryer is able to put out. Uh, I don't know the exact temperature, but I'm guessing that we're probably in the range of about 200 degrees. Really, we're going to need to heat up this panel to the point where if you were to put your hand on it, you wouldn't want to keep it there for more than a, a half a second or so without feeling like you were getting burned. Um, we'll know when we hit the right temperature range because the, the bonding compound goes from a very solid state to a sort of uh, consistency equal to that of half, half cured bondo, something like that. It actually becomes sticky and um, will separate quite easily actually. You probably won't even need to use any uh, hammers or other hand tools to separate the majority of the surface when, when you get it heated to the right temperature. We don't want to get too carried away with the heat gun um, because we don't want to end up damaging the fiberglass uh, that we want to keep. Uh, but it, it's pretty evident once you get to the right temperature, and if you play with it for a little bit, uh, uh, you'll find out quite quickly what the right zone is. Once we've got this area heated up here, um, we're going to be able to separate these two surfaces. And, and really to start, I like to use a, what's called a 5-in-1 tool. You can find this at Home Depot or Lowe's. Basically, it's a, it's a rigid putty knife with a, with a sharp edge. Uh, it's got a couple of different curves here and shapes that really help get into some weird angles and, and help get the panel separated. Uh, you'll also notice that for this effort, I'm starting particularly at this area right here where we get a nice sharp corner. Um, starting in an area like this is really helpful because it gives you an area where you can attack it at a good angle. You're not trying to start here in the middle um, when you're trying to split open a seam right in the middle of the bonding compound. Basically, we're starting in a corner here, which is a weak area. Once we get this started, it's going to be really easy just to carry that, that splitting of the two panels all the way across. Uh, much easier than it would be if you were starting right in the middle. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get started. We're going to take the heat gun and we're going to apply the heat to the first four inches or so. Get that really nice and warm, or hot I should say. Uh, get that started. Get, get it split. Um, once that first four, to four inches or so is split, we'll repeat the process, heat another four inches, get that split, and it'll just be a process that carries all the way across. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to set the heat gun to high for this, and, and just holding the heat gun probably about two inches from the surface, I'm just going to heat this area, it'll probably take about a minute or so uh, to get it heated up to a nice good temperature. Okay, now working quickly but carefully, I'm going to use my 5-in-1 tool with a rubber mallet 
Just to get started here, really once it's started, we're probably going to be able to separate the panels uh, using this thinner, more flexible putty knife just with hand pressure. That's how easily this will come across, uh, come apart rather. So um, with that, I'm just going to use a 5 in one tool. I'm going to set the blade about a, a 16th inch in from the edge. That's about how thick these panels are, 16th to an eighth of an inch thick. Uh, if I don't hit the right spot, I'll know because really the bonding compound at this point is going to separate quite easily. So uh, I'm just going to take that knife, that you do a knife, and, and you can see right here already that it's just splitting right apart and coming. Uh, that bonding compound is releasing quite easily. And you can see how easily this, this seam just progresses here. The heat really helps that to separate. You'll notice you don't hear any cracking or splintering of the fiberglass. Everything is coming off in one piece. Uh, which is working really nice. So this is about how high I've, I, I've gone, and you can see that if I try to go much higher than what I've heated already, it's starting to get much tougher to separate, and the panel is actually bending down, and you can tell that we're getting to the point where if I tried to keep going, um, really this fiberglass panel would splinter and break apart. So uh, I'm going to stop here. We're going to continue heating. Um, once that's done, I'm likely going to switch to this more flexible uh, putty knife. This one can bend quite easily and can more easily follow the curves of, of, uh, of this panel here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to want to use something too rigid. So this, this nice flexible knife here is going to work really good to follow this. It's going to help reduce the likelihood of damaging that panel. So we'll continue the heating process and we'll, we'll move forward from here. Okay, so we're ready to continue with the heating process. And one of the things I'm going to do here so I'm going to reinsert this putty knife, which actually at this point is, is quite hot. But uh, at this point, I'm going to move forward. Um, okay, we're at the point now where we're ready to continue heating with, with the second. Uh, <clears throat> okay, we're ready at this point to continue heating and, and do our next four to six inches of the panel here. One of the things I'm going to do before I start applying the heat again uh, is basically to install this putty knife. If I can get it in the right spot here. Install this putty knife and, and put it approximately where I left off. This is going to help me... Um, understand where to begin heating and, and, and where I want to start from. And also what it's going to do is it's going to provide some separation between those panels so that um, once I've heated it, I can come back in with my, my more flexible putty knife here, find that opening already and just continue the separation uh, rather than having to fidget with it and lose time and allow this, these two surfaces to cool. From this point forward, I'm going to be using this more flexible putty knife here. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, first off, its flexibility makes it much more able to go around these curved surfaces, makes it less likely to damage the fiberglass panels. It's a little bit thinner, so it makes it easier to separate the panels. Um, and also just, uh, just very flexible, um, works very well to separate the panels, um, not quite as rigid as, as the 5-in-1 uh, tool. So with that, we're going to continue heating. Um, I'm going to do the same thing we did before, heat 4 to 6 inches, uh, stop heating, come back in with a putty knife and separate those two panels. So with this heated, I'm going to come in with a small putty knife, as I said, insert it right here in the seam. I'm going to pull this 5 and one knife out of the way now. And just with hand pressure, I'm just going to separate these two panels, and you can see how easily that comes apart. Shouldn't take a lot of force. Um, even coming up around this corner, it's a little tougher, but if you jockey the putty knife back and forth, uh, the rocking motion helps to separate the panels, and just like that, we've made six inches of progress. So uh, that's about where I left off heating here, up at the top of this corner. So we're just going to, as I say, continue the process and we'll keep going until we get this done. So there you have it folks. Separating bonded fiberglass panels is really quite easy with the right tools. The help of a heating gun, putty knife, and maybe a mallet, and you're in business. These panels come apart really easy. I'm going to use the same process along all the bonded surfaces for this rear deck. I'm going to get this panel separated and then move on with this restoration. It's probably going to take about an hour to an hour and a half to get this all separated. Um, but the great part is I'm going to be able to do it without damaging um, all the other components. The, the other great thing about this here is even the bonding strips here, for instance, along the, the fender, uh, the seam of the fender, and the rear deck, uh, you're going to be able to salvage those bonding strips, not going to damage them, um, going to save a lot of money by doing that. Also, once I do have this rear deck removed, I'm going to be able to come back in with the heat gun and heat up any excess bonding compound that may be left on these bonding surfaces here, scrape it right off with the putty knife, it comes off, very slick, so that's going to save a lot of sanding, a lot of dust, and a lot of mess by doing it that way. Uh, certainly once you've scraped off the, the, most of the bottom compound, come back in with a DA sander perhaps and clean it up a little bit, but uh, you know, this is a really quick, efficient, and, and clean way of separating these panels uh, that works great. I think that if you folks try it, you're going to have real good results. So, If you want to see more information on this, uh, on this restoration here, in particular, this is a 71 coupe I'm working on. Uh, you can check out my webpage, the CorvetteRestorationPage.com. The address is at the bottom of the screen. And uh, 
Hope to see you there. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks.